All right, here we are again. Um, this is episode 226, part two. I'll do a quick recap because this is just... Every once in a while, if you're going to banks on a regular basis... Yeah, I'll turn it around. All right. I'll do an, I usually don't do intros, but I'll do one here. If you go to banks on a regular basis, every once in a while you're going to hit pay dirt and you're going to get you know a bunch of rolls. I mean, I got super lucky. If you're watching all my videos, I mean, you see the bags, the penny bags from the bank. You know, this is not made up. I, I've never bought anything, a Loomis bar. Some of our members do. I got donated Loomis bars, uh, rolls, excuse me, but I never bought one. I'm just a strictly bank dude, customer rolls. I do have a couple boxes of uh, the bank wrapped ones, you know, the Federal Bank or Wells Fargo, whatever. I have a couple boxes of those just to mix up the uh, episodes. So I could do new stuff sometimes, just to make the 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 series uh, the uh, the videos different. Sometimes I use, even though they're they're less interesting, but it's just something different for me to do. So, if you've been watching the videos for the past month, you know that I got these these rolls from my bank, and there was like uh like forty dollars in those. It was like which would be eighty. It's a whole big bag of my. I got. No, it's not 40. It's about 20 or 25 dollars, excuse me. 40 or 50 total. And um they smell like um basement. And uh, they don't smell like basement. They smell much less because my my house is very dry. So, they don't smell like basement anymore. So, in episode 225, I uh Said hello and uh, welcomed our newest member, Ter, T E R, as um, he likes to be called, and um, and I'm using a new, I'm using my awe. This is a sewing awe to point now, right? So I keep it here on my on my desk, and um, actually I should keep it right next to the pennies. That's that's why I have it. That's why I don't use it because if I don't keep it. In front of me, I won't use it. Just like if I don't have gloves on, I won't use them. And that's just the way. If I don't have my loop near me, I won't use it. So I don't usually do intros. I'm doing it now because part one was the welcome. I do. If someone becomes a member, I always give them a members only welcome video. And I will. So Tara is getting welcomed in two videos, but it's a part one, part two. So that that's okay. And I, of course, in the description below, you see all the members. Right now we have six. When we hit eight, it'll be a, a special bar opens up on YouTube. And uh, at nine and 10 and 11, all the names get rotated. So it's, it, it'll be pretty cool when eventually we hit over, you know, eight or over um, members. So without further ado, let's do this other half of this penny roll that all the pennies in it are copper. Many of them, I'll give you a quick overview look at these some of these it looks some of these pennies we found in part one so hopefully you watched part one already but look at the mint state pennies found in part one it's ridiculous and the last one that we found had these errors on it and it just took me so long between the research look at the uh look at the i look at the g and look at the o so the O is the one I'm, and possibly the the bottom of the N, are specifically what I think are either strike throughs or um, some sort of die error. It might not be a double die, but it's a die error. Now the 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 I specifically and the G specifically are either double dies. Or deteriorated dye. And I went through the whole thing about deteriorated dye in the first part. So I'm not going to talk about that in this one. And these are the ones we have left for today's video. <sighs> All right. Let's do it. Look at this. Misaligned dye. 
MS Condition Penny. What a beauty, man. What an absolute beauty. And now for the for the short videos, I'm gonna have to do two separate rolls so I know which ones are which, right? So I, I only have four videos and maybe I'll do short. Oh, so let's so I'm even gonna I'm even gonna separate the pennies from this one from the so that's our first MS penny. I'll put it over here. So now I have uh two separate rolls for everything between part one and part two. Hopefully you understood what that means. All right, so we got everything separated for the short so i could so i could dedicate the short to the specific long video okay 1961 this is a bronze penny because it has some tin in it Interesting how there's damage right above the W, but no damage to the W itself. Pretty wild, right? Let me look at that under the loop. I take that back. There is some damage to the W and to the E next to it. Most likely post-mint damage. Mm. And then you can see those little, like on the W. So in the bottom of the W, you see that little, see, to me, that's hub doubling. It could also be deteriorated die, but it's one or the other. And, you know, unless it's a, okay, so what year is this? 61. So we could go to the penny, the penny page and look for, uh, see if there's any 1961. See, I'll show you real quick. So I know Otis told me how to do it, but this is. With one hand, this is the easiest way to do it. 1961. And then here goes. Let's look for the, uh, and it's a P. And let's go to DDO. And what we want to see, all right, so where did we, what did I think I saw the doubling on this one? I thought I saw, oh, the W, right, with the W. So let's see if we see anything here with a W. Oh. No, they got the E, the little thing on the E here, which in really, really good condition is worth like a couple bucks. Oh, and that's it. That's it. 61. I have to go back. 61. There's another 61. One. Oh, that's the 61D. P1, that's the reverse. All right, P is another 61 P1 DO. Got the G, the 9, top of the L, and the E again. <clears throat> so let's look at the uh, top of the L, the G. Huh. And then the top of the L and what? And uh, it's got to be Liberty, right? It's the only L. No. At the G. Let me look at that G real quick. Uh, light to moderate doubling shown on Liberty, the motto, and the date. Liberty, the motto, and the date. And that, that would be a 1D001. Liberty, the motto, oh. and the date. Oh, so you have to see it in the date, too, for it to be a 1D001. Let me look at the date. Yeah, I mean, I see it in the W, possibly the G, the I, the N. So I'm gonna, I'm, I would, I would. It looks a little bit stronger to me in the uh, online, but I, I can. You see it in the. I know I went too too close. Sorry about that. Right, you can see it in the I. 
and the N, right? Mild doubling. W to E. Now, look at the one, the bottom of the one. You can see it there. So is there mild doubling? I could go on a limb and say, yeah, it is mild, especially the G. Look at the G. I can go on a limb and say it's mild doubling. So this, what condition is this? This is really good condition. This is probably like a, an AU50. I'm going to prove it. Well, I'm going to try to prove it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So an AU50 is worth 75 cents. <laughs> okay, so AU50 is worth 75 cents, okay? But let's look what an AU50 is. We have to find an AU50 now. AU50 1961P. AU50 1961. Okay, I don't see any AU 1961, so I'm going to have to go. Let's just, I'm just going to go up. I'm going to go 1962. I'm going to go to 1960. Just to see what comes up. I'm going to go to 62. Where's the 63? Go to 63. Oh, okay. Oh, struck on silver planchet, six hundred dollars. Okay, I'm gonna go to sixty-four. Okay, we got an we got an AU fifty nineteen sixty-four. Okay, so this is what I'm saying is an AU. Just to show you, I'm not I'm not showing off. Okay, but I, you know, like I said, I've been doing this a long time. I said this is AU. AU50, right? All right. If you want to stop here, you want to open up a second window, whatever you want to do, just you want to do a screenshot, however you want to look at, it, just look at this. If I told you that was the same penny, you would you, you would believe me, right? So that's an AU50. So I mean, again, you know, there's certain things I'm pretty good at. And grading is something I've been doing for a long, long time between pennies and uh, more specifically uh, sports cards. So I have a very good eye and understanding for it. So this is a, uh, let's call it a $1 penny. All right. And here we are almost 15 minutes in, and that's the problem and why I had to do a second video. Okay. Because I don't want to, I don't want to rush through it. Wow. Holy moly, man. Can now can that little bit of come out with conservation? I don't know. Maybe it might be able to be dulled a little bit, but I would be afraid to damage the uh, the coin. Um, I mean, that might be a piece of dirt. Watch, like I might be able to take that off. See that right there in between the um, the roof. This shoes, my nail's not going to damage the penny. Believe me, and that's it. They come out. No, so it might be something on it. I mean, it's still MS condition, but it might be a very low MS because of those two marks. But what a beauty, huh? All right, I don't see any doubling there. What an absolute stunner! <sighs> Incredible. These these pennies are these older cop. Wow, these are like two three dollar pennies. I mean, there might be a dollar, like if you were at a uh, at a show, these might be one or two dollar pennies. But, you know, you have to pay for shipping. So you have to include that in tax. You have to include that into the price. Right. <clears throat> Unless you bought a bunch of them. So maybe if you that's how you can save on shipping by buying a lot. But anyway, it's stup super duper incredible. These pennies. I can't even believe it. All right. Here goes a 63. And here we go. So this is what I'm talking about. Look at the T. The T is that's a great example. Is that doubling or 
is the die deteriorated, meaning, you know, did it change over thousands and thousands of hits? Oh, look at the end. Oh, look at that. Now, there's, the way with the way. Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, it's not super doubling. That's where the big money is. The big money is if you see the letter twice or the number twice, that's where the big money is. But there's a little bit of money in the um, in the other doubling, the hub doubling. The du it's all over the place. So now what we have to do is we have to go to we have to go to copper pennies, right? What is it? A sixty-three p, sixty-three p one d o. All right, that one has the little line under the R. I'm just going to see if, oh, how about the I? There's a doubling in the I. I don't see it. Okay. Oh, boy, there's pages and pages of it. All right, in the, um, in the Liberty, oh, that's a real, let's look at the Liberty. I mean, there's that little thing in the E there, but I'm going to say no oh, next to the T. No, what I really want to see is the W and the T's. So I'm going to keep going to see if I see the W and the T's. Oh. One D O O 13. But it's the T is coming down off the bottom. I'm sorry, off to the side. I don't see that there. No. All of all of all of these hubs are from the bottom. So just for just for time's sake. Oh. Here goes another one. With a little bit, which T is that though? Is that T in trust? I mean, which T in trust? I think it's the first T. No, it doesn't have it. See, this one here shows. See, this one here shows that little that little dot there. And that one would have been worth 10, 20 bucks. I had the little dot. See, he shows the Konica, the Wexler, the Crawford. Unknown, unknown. So this is his discovery, this guy, the, the penny guy. They have unknowns there. Now, this penny does not have that little mark next to the T on the left. Look how, look how far away that, that T is from the S. Is that crazy? Is that normal? Let me find another one. What year is that? That's the 71. I wish I had another 60s one. I do have a 61 here. How about the 61? Yeah, I guess it does just look like that. Um, all right, so let me keep looking. I'm going to do it off camera just for time's sake. And sometimes those, so this one has multiple, has two 1963 P1DO. So I'm going to check the other one. Ah, there goes one. The R, light extra thickness on the date and trust. Okay. We could check that out. Is there any light extra thickness on the date and trust? No. Hmm. Possibly, possibly. It's not very valuable. Two, three bucks. All right. So we're still looking for uh, the T. Oh, see, but see what the arrow is? Watch. See, he, he shows you the arrow. Right? Which is still only, you know, AU50 is only four bucks. But he shows you the arrow of the T 
And that's not where ours is doubled. I don't, let me look at it under the loop. No, ours is, is strictly on the bottom. So it could be from a hub, a tilted hub, or deteriorated die. Could be either or. But we're checking to see if he has it. That's it. If he doesn't have it, uh, he's got the Wii. He's got the WE in there. But again, upwards. His is upwards. His Wii is upwards. Is ours? Uh, ours is downwards. Uh, maybe the E is upwards. Here, and I'll show you. And this would make it a, it's a, oh, in poor condition, it's 50 bucks, a, a PR67. Yeah, I don't know, man. That looks, I don't know if that's what we got here. I wish that's what we had here. Let me tell you, if this is a minor doubling seen on the IGWT, the IGWT, not for nothing. I've been talking about this for the from the beginning of the uh, of looking at this. The I, the G, the W, and the T. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna wipe this off a little bit. It's a little dirty. If this is a 63P. But he has such a great, a great picture there. That so shiny. I don't know where he got the poor sixty-seven. Is fifty bucks. This is like a again. This is like an AU AU condition. But it says, "Hey, look, read it. Read it yourself." Nineteen sixty-three P one DO. Is that it? No, no, that's not it. Is that it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Class 2. Minor doubling seen on the IGWT. $50 in poor 67. We already established that this is like an AU 50. Yeah, this is like an AU 50. This is better than poor. And on the I, it's also on the N. It's also on the D, the W, the T. Now, did I correctly identify this? I have to put it on a, uh, on a little piece of paper. So, let me get out a pen. Let me just write this down. So it's possible, it's possibly. So I know Eric and um, and Otis will chime in. So is this the um, 1963 P one D O O two three P right? And it's with minor doubling on the um, I G W T. Okay, so I'm just putting this underneath it so I don't forget. I don't want to have to go through all this research again. And um, possibly that's what it is. And this is why I had to do two separate. I could I could make this into a third video. This is just just taking. This is how long it takes to do this stuff, man. For me. So if you're if you if you know your stuff already and you're quick, you know God bless you. Oh. <sighs> now, of course, the question everybody wants to know is, is this... Did these pennies come from someone's collection? I'll be honest with you. I'm going to say no. Uh, 
Um, again, the penny, I've never seen these penny rolls before. And I've never seen these before. That's number one. I got 50 of them. I just think that they were, somebody wrapped these up 40 years ago. 1980 was uh, 44 years ago. And I think that's the newest one we found was an 80 or an 82. And um, they just been sitting in someone's basement in, 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 in the penny wrappers. Look at that. All right, 1968P. Nineteen sixty-eight. All right, that's the one that they have none, none on. Um, wow, look at that R! Holy moly, this is this is unbelievable. Now, if somebody wants to take a picture of this and send it to um, Copper Coins, feel free. I think that's. That's not, that's crazy, man. That's really, really nuts. But he doesn't have it down there, but I'm still going to put it down as a double die or uh, hub doubling or something like that. Look at the N. And the I. Another 68. Wow, that's crazy, man. I'm actually going to put it with the other one. And what I got, I'm staring at this, this penny over here. Do you see it? Where is it at? Do you see this one over here? I keep staring at it. I mean, it looks like a proof almost. I got to take it out, man. This has been this is absolutely insane. I'm telling you, I, 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 we're going on a half hour already. To do this right, it really takes it takes time. You know, if I'm going to do the research, only because of the back. Which I'll be honest with you, copper doesn't rust. That's probably a lamination error. Not that it's worth anything. I did find one the other day that was super underweight. Yeah, I'll pull the scale out for this one. If I see rust, I should I should weigh it. Because if it's a severe lamination error, it might be underweight. No, it's actually right on the right on the nose. All right. All right. Uh, again, for me to do these videos correctly, I have to take time um, to do the research. This is why it's so easy to go through the new pennies, the new zinc cents. Um, as far as I know, that there's less, there's a lot less errors in them. Right, quality control and all of that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to do a part three. Um, this is just taking, there's too, there's too many, there's too many left to do. And, um, and I'll see you in episode 220, 26. So I'm going to dedicate all three of these episodes to our newest member, Tara. Yeah, so we did 125. No, this was one. This was 226. The next one is 227. Yeah, we did 225, 220. So part three is going to be 227. And I'll, I'll see you right there, 30, 30 minutes on the dot.